Welcome to the TB2G tutorial. I'm He Xu. In this video, we're going to have a flash tour to TB2G usage. We will see what needs to be provided to TB2G and how we can run it. TB2G requires tight bonding like electron Hamiltonian as input, which can be computed from DFT. For many popular DFT codes, we can use Bonnie90 to build the Hamiltonian, and then we can run TB2G and also TB2J can make use of the Hamiltonian from the numerical atomic orbital based DFT curves like Siesta or OpenMX. And in this video we are going to show these two typical cases. Well, we assume that we have already done the DFT calculation and have the one function or the LCAO Hamiltonian already. And we will see how to run TB2J from these as input. We will see how to build the one functions or LCAO Hamiltonians in other videos. Okay, before we start running these tutorials, let's first activate the Python environment. Now let's go to the first example of one night input. We use the strong theorem maglite, which is a cubic perovskite as an example. And we have the DFD input files. We use app init and we have the one unite input file as well then uh, after running this uh, after running appinit and the one unite we will have the one unite output files which we already put here so we have the uh, centers.xyz file which include the one in centers and the hrdate.dat file which include the one function hamiltonian and we also copy the DFT input file here, which include the uh, positions of the atoms. So with this file, we could use this command one to j dot pi, which means one in ninety to j the exchange. And we need to specify the atomic positions with the with the app init in pose file with the app init input file and the prefix of the spin up 190 file and the prefix of the one of the spin down 190 files and the Fermi energy which can be read from the app init output and the element, the magnetic element, which is manganese, and the key mesh. And that's it, we can run it. So you can see it is reading the 1A function Hamiltonian and then starting to calculate the exchange. We have a progress bar here. After it hit 100%, we will have the result. Okay, now it's finished, and we can see the results are in the TB2J directory. We can have a look. We could see we have the exchange.out file, which include all the exchange parameters. We will explain the output files in another video. And we can first have a peek into the exchange. Dot out file so you can see we have the position of the atoms and the and for each uh, atomic pair we have a number the exchange parameter in MEB okay next we show how to use the siesta Hamiltonian we use the BCC iron as an example siesta uses the local atomic orbital as basis set so uh, it is already uh, a tight band in like Hamiltonian so we could uh, use the DFT output directly without going to the one functions. Let's have a look. We have the CSTAR input file. After running CSTAR, we could get the output files. Now to calculate the exchange parameters, we can use this command CSTAR to J dot I directly. What we need to specify is the name of the uh, Siesta input file, fdf file name, 
which is cs star dot fdf and the magnetic elements which is iron and the two mesh which we use uh, seven 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 as example here and we can run it Okay, now the catenation is finished and we can have a look at the results. This is the end of the flash tour. We could see that TP2J requires the local electron Hamiltonian either from 1 in 90 output or from the LCAO based DFT code directly. And from these Hamiltonians, we can specify a few parameters to TP2J and we can get the exchange parameters very simply. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time.